Hello, hello, hello. Um, Clarissa and myself, uh, we are Paper Game Theatre. Um, basically, we are a platform for British East Asian writers to develop and produce, work for the stage. All that means is that we help writers get better. Um, ideally from a British East Asian background, but to be honest, we work with pretty much anyone that's interested and enthusiastic. Um, what does develop mean? That could mean a cup of coffee, that could mean workshops, that could mean reports, that could mean anything that basically gets you just a little bit better. Um, we know how hard it is to get something from your brain to the page and to make sense and translate well to someone else. We hopefully smooth out all those little kinks to get it to translate well. Uh, we also produce work, um, partly because we also understand that a script is only a blueprint for someone else to go and make it. So we produce, we get things on their, at their feet, um, page to stage. Um, Clarissa is much better at talking about that than I am. I'm terrible at that. Um, so, is that the next? yeah, the next bit. So, oh, Clarissa, <coughs> uh, artistic director. I'm the literary manager. Very loose job titles. We move around a lot. Um, so, if there's anyone out there who's looking for help in any way, just to get that little bit better, drop us a line, and we'll see what we can do. So, I'm going to talk quickly about a few projects that we did. Uh, January. Uh, 2015 we did Harajuku Girls, written by Francis Turney, um, we co-produced it at the Finborough Theatre, three weeks long, um, it was lovely, it was about uh, <laughs> a coming of age story in Japan, again, it is by a British East Asian writer, not set in, um, in Britain as such, so, you it know. It was, on that one, I mean, we did, helped out a lot of the post-production work, we did a lot of the marketing, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of helping people out and <laughs> doing all that. Uh, Paper Gang Matinees, uh, which was the end of last year, um, which was our first Arts Council funded project. We are uh, not funded, um, so we're working from project to project. Um, it was um, a three week long project and every we had three scripts that we developed. Um, each script got a week of um, workshopping with with the actors, with the cast, um, for the uh, writer to listen to their script and see, um, um, well, hear their words and how it all worked and how the, the structure all sat together. They did a lot of rewrites. Um, if you want to have uh, an example, you should ask Joyce Lee, who's sitting right over there, who had... Right in the middle. Right in the middle. <laughs> ask her about her experience. Ask her how... Um, you know, how, how everything came about. Um, it was wonderful to have an amazing cast of, as you can see, David Yip and Sarah Lam, for example, um, uh, participating. Um, and we were, this was part of the Sea Arts Fest from last year, and we were lucky enough to have the matinees donated to us by um, Yang Mei Ban Street Blues, who was playing at the theat uh, Tristan Bates at the time. Um, at the Bush Theatre, we did a showcase. We had snippets of new writing, um, loads of different people. Um, again, R&D space, trying, to th trying new things out. It was lovely to have a really good audience. Um, it, it's important for people, even at the early stages, to kind of have a touchstone. Um, we did um, evaluation uh, forms so people could get feedback on their work at the very early stage so they can work with it. Ah, oh, yeah, coming soon is I'm just here to buy soy sauce, which is a new co-production from us. Um, the play is written by Jing and Young, who is from Hong Kong, and the play deals with the effect that Chinese investors have on the London housing crisis. <laughs> <laughs> if it sounds familiar, <laughs> then uh, please come along. It is something that we like to explore. It's uh, the notion of home versus property. At, for the first few um, performances, we will be performing a straight script, which will be done at the New Wimbledon, sorry, New Wimbledon Studios, um, the 18th and 19th of May. I give you time to write that down. <laughs> On the 6th of June, at the Old Red Lion. 
And on the 9th of June at the China Exchange uh, in Chinatown, where we also have a post-show panel discussion um, with a lady who wrote a book about how to invest in the UK and uh, the CEO from um, a social housing association. Um, then, hopefully for the second half, depending on funding, we will change this script into an immersive theatre experience. Um, we are supported by the Arcola for Development as well as the new diorama. And we're really grateful for their support. Um, hopefully, we'll, by September, we'll have a new, from the, sc the script that we're working on now, a new, different immersive theatre experience. I think that's it. That'll be good. I believe so. Yeah, look at Next. that. Next! <laughs>